What up, friends? I was uh, thinking that I wanted to start this video off with a, a big, huge thank you to everybody that, subs that has subscribed to me and uh, liked all my videos so far and commented. Um, I look forward to those things. Um, you know, when I'm doing these videos, I'm hoping that uh, will spark some creativity within you guys and, um, you know, and just try to make things uh, more fun, you know what I mean? And if you guys could uh, comment even more, I mean, let me know what you think, you know what I mean? Uh, if you have questions or anything like that, then I'm totally down to answer, um, you know, or suggestions. Something that could make something better, you know, I'm, I'm more than willing to try um, different ways of doing things. So, with that being said, um, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're doing today. So this is the mock-up of the, uh, the box that I'm going to make. This is just cardboard and kebab skewers. And I just hot glued them together and made a, made this is basically six inch by six inch. This is three inch by three inch. And the microphone will go in here. Yeah, let me get it together real quick. And the tripod for it. Just stick the tripod in the bottom. Put the uh, mic on the tripod like so. And then you just... Turn the tripod till it screws in the bottom of the stand. Now once that's done, you just want to position it wherever you want. And that's what you got. So, like I said, this is a mock-up. And the real deal will be made out of this. Now this is masonite. If anybody doesn't know what masonite is, it's very thin bendable wood. And it's basically particle board. It's pretty thin. But it's wood, not cardboard. So I've got all my pieces that I want to make it with. Already drawn out on there. So this is the front, the back, and the corresponding sides and bottoms and whatnot. So this is one little board. I'd say it's 24 inches by 18 inches, something like that. That's all you're going to need to make something like this. You can, you can see the difference. See, when I turn the volume down... I turn the volume up. Volume! 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 See? It's horrible. So, hopefully this box will fix that. Anyways, I think it's time to get started. You crazy mother...
now we got all our pieces covered for the outside. I just cut the foam for the inside. And this is what I'm using. You can see it. Pretty cool. It's good foam for uh, sound dampening. Probably not the best, but uh, it should work. Just has a few uh, leftover pieces. I figured I'd keep them. You never know. You might be able to use them. Alright, so let's get the glue in this foam inside. And we'll move on to the next part. <laughs> Okay, this is the next step, and this is corner trim that is PVC, and it's about to get a little spray paint. I'm not a big fan of a Krylon, ever. I use Rust-Oleum, but uh, this funky goldish copper color is kind of cool, so I'm going to give it a shot. pretty well. I don't know if I would have spent more time on it. It would have came out better, yes, but uh, I think it came out pretty nice, pretty straight. Pretty straight, and uh, I had some, just a couple of things that I didn't do on camera. So this is it. You can see the front is uh, covered, but there is a hole here. And the back, I don't know how well you can See that? Like that. There's a hole here. And I just added these two. I was thinking about adding ones on the bottom, but uh, decided not to. Mainly because uh, I guess I just felt like it was not going to work with the door that I put on it. A door? Yeah, a door. So this is the door. There's the bottom for the, to hold the. Uh, got this little latch and the way it's made is basically when you open this door see there's two hinges yeah anyway when you open the door which you can do you can open the door it's almost like a coffin but yeah check that out it's all but anyways, when you open the door, that's when it gives you the option to now take the 
it back out. Because it's just a foam back. And if you look in there, when the door's shut, it'd be completely closed off. And it also lets you take a phone out with the door open. And once you close the door, it surrounds this foam and squeezes it to where it can't fall out. So that works pretty well. The front comes off. The hole is still in there. It's just not visible. But yeah, it's got hinges. Look at that. It's got a little latch. You can close it all the way. It's like a spiral. I might do a picture from that shot, I don't know. Anyways, let's get it hooked up and see how it works. Okay. So, I got it plugged in. And I have the mic in the box. But I don't have the lid on, or the front, I should say. I don't have it on right now. So we're just going to see how it sounds without the lid. Or, should I say, the front. Let's get, let's get this. Position a little more that way. Okay. Alright. Fingers crossed. Taking it up to, I think we were on about 24 last time. 25. On the TV volume. Well, on the computer. Hello? Oh no. Well, I am pretty close to the, uh, <coughs> the speaker. So the feedback is there. Alright. Let's move it back away from there. A lot more. Oh. Hello? Volume. 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 Okay. Now we're going to try it with the, uh. That's all the way up. Hello? 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 Okay. Hello? 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 Volume. Turn off the volume. Turn it off. Volume. Volume. Okay. Hello? 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 I wonder if you can hear me regular right now. I have the uh, volume turned up about midway. So it's pretty loud. I think, uh, honestly, it may have reduced the echo by a severe amount. I can still hear a little tiny bit of it, but nowhere near as bad as before. So, that's pretty cool. There's a tripod. The tripod's in there. Hello? 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 Volume! Volume! So much better. That's awesome. Well, guys, if you ever want to make one of these, it's not that hard. It's literally some masonite and, uh, like a piece of one by four, maybe like a foot long, and I cut into small pieces to join them together. Just use glue. There's literally no screws in this whatsoever. And, uh, these are just decorative tacks. And I just put them, you know, four on the sides, three on the top. I may uh, end up doing something to the front here in the future. It goes all the way around like a frame out of the same stuff here. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied. I think it's awesome. It came out great. I'll take some stills at the end. And uh, I want to thank all my subscribers again. And uh, you know, anybody that hasn't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that button. It doesn't cost you a dime. It's totally free. Um, don't want to sound like I'm begging, but uh, hey, you know, it will really help me out. And also, uh, anybody who wants to comment, you know, I, I said this in the beginning of the video, but I'm going to say it again. Uh, let you know, you know what I mean? Uh, I definitely want to hear from my community. So, um, everybody that um, subs my channel, or even people that don't sub my channel, you know what I mean? Throw those comments in there, tell me what you think about this. You know what I mean? I really want to know. Uh, if you want one, you know, I could possibly make you one for the right price. I don't know how much exactly, but, you know, the fabric I already had. The microphone was only... I don't even remember how much it was, but 
pretty awesome. So, I'm gonna do a thumbnail right here, like this. Is this my thumbnail? This is my thumbnail, maybe. Alright, until next time, peace out, y'all. Oh, this you crazy mother...